Hi, this is a demo of a tool I made in Pure Basic in two weeks, two weekends. So it's a sprite editor, and you can see that uh, we have a, a color picker with sliders, and yeah, the bending is both way. So I can change the slider or I can change uh, in the box. We can draw various shapes. There are squares, there are rectangles, circles, and lines. So if I draw a line, I just draw a line. And I can change the drawing type. For example, I can just draw an outline and that draws an outline. And I can also draw a gradient. So below we have this gradient and if I draw, we see that we have two handles that I can use and yeah i can position the gradient but i can also edit the gradient so i can say like yellow and put maybe a uh, blue there and that would give that gradient I, I can also add stops and i can still move the gradient around and to validate, I right click and it validates. It supports also a circular gradient. So if I take a ball or a circle, I can draw the circle and I can move the gradient around and I can also move the radius. And like uh, before, to apply, I do right click and it applies. And yeah, it's not limited to uh, to circles. I can also do a line with that gradient. And by default, the gradient follows the line, which can be useful if you want to make uh, multiple lines. Then we have the fruit fill tools. So I will undo a bit, and you can see that the undo keeps the gradient and keeps the things layered. So if you didn't saw, I can make a simple example. If I do this and then I will do this. The, the drawing is not override and so behind the green one, we have the, the red one. So if I undo, yeah. And it's a vectorial, it's a vector graphics. So each time that things is refreshed, so it's not a bitmap. Okay, and then uh, yeah, in the gradient, what I didn't show, so I will take the box gradient, which is the third type. So you can move around your gradient, and you can uh, uh, change the width and the height. And yeah, normally the height you can do uh, the full horizontal and the uh, width you can do. Yeah, okay, that's not. Uh, you should be able to do the horizontal like that. But if you take the handles, yeah, it should always work. And uh, yeah, you can also pick uh, one of the colors of the gradient. And you see that on top of uh, the preview, you have these green ticks or red ticks. And where the tick is green, you can move the gradient. So like you see, and it updates uh, life. Uh, obviously, you can't change the extreme because you need a uh, start and end. So. And you can still, uh, yeah, say, add a gradient and then I put a new color so that's what's possible with uh, this uh, uh, pure basic thing yeah and it took uh, two two weekends not two weeks but two weekends to make that so yeah that's quite efficient as a language